Hello everyone, this is Jason. I made a video yesterday about Hillary Clinton called Stop Blaming the Victim. And it was talking about Republicans stealing elections uh, and giving mucho evidence for it and showing a past history of this and that how the Democrats, because they hate Hillary Clinton so much and progressives like Jimmy Dore, the Young Turks and all these other fucking so-called fucking progressives, are, which I'm not a progressive, I don't think. I think I'm a liberal. Um, how they don't want to talk about this. I, watch, I look at Common Dreams. Common Dreams didn't want to talk about it. I watched the I watched independent media sources blast Jill Stein. Like, move on. Get over it. We're done with the Clintons. You're not done, first of all, with the Clintons. There's four, four years from now, there will be another presidential election, and she will be part of it. That's just to start. Secondly, what if it's Bernie Sanders in four years? Seriously, what if Bernie Sanders is the Democratic nominee in four years from now? He runs against Trump. And he loses. And he has the election stolen from him in North Carolina, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Florida. Are we then going to just continue? To, are you then going to take Greg Palast's work seriously? Are you then going to take David Daly's book, Rat Fucked, seriously? They've been gerrymandering since the 90s. Tom DeLay... We're going to ignore all of the computer hacking from people that were connected to Karl Rove who died in plane crashes when they were going to testify about said election frauds. We're going to ignore all of the Koch brothers, massive amount, and Paul Singer's hundreds of millions of dollars throughout the country to manipulate and change the very laws on how we vote. The Voting Rights Act which was altered, so cross-check was, because there's no more racism in America now, so cross-check is now allowed, and it's used in 39 states, and it's wrong, it's incorrect, it gets names wrong, it disenfranchises minority voters who vote Democrat more than it does anyone else. How are those things going to be any better in four years if you don't acknowledge them now? They're only going to get ossified. Laws will only, Chris Kobach is only working to disenfranchise more Democratic voters. More liberal voters, more voters who vote. They don't, it's not just people who vote straight Democrat. It's people who vote for the alternative candidate to the state, to the conservatives, that the state that they're in. I lost 10 subscribers because of that video, that Hillary Clinton video. I told the truth in the video, and people were like, nah, I don't really like that. I want to hear how Hillary Clinton's a monster, how... Progressives need to move forward and don't blame anybody but Hillary Clinton for her loss. Hillary Clinton, I did not vote for Hillary Clinton. Okay, let me be clear. I didn't vote for her. I'm not a supporter of Hillary Clinton. I've said this over and over and over again. But what has happened in this country is there has maybe been no political figure who has taken more shit than Hillary Clinton. I mean, really, to be honest with you, she has been, she has just been eviscerated up and down, back and forth. And I know there's Clinton fatigue and I know people, those emails... The intelligence community didn't want Hillary Clinton as president. They wanted Donald Trump. It's clear from the FBI coming out right before the election and saying, no, the no, the investigation into Clinton's emails are still ongoing. It's still, I mean, it's completely, it, from a Mitt Romney supporter. Folks, she had it stolen from her. You can, and by the way, you should all be focusing more on that than you are on trying to find the next leader in the Democratic Party. You should, but nobody is because everybody hates Hillary Clinton so much or has Clinton fatigue or never wanted her in the first place or whatever. So it was okay that conservatives continue to steal elections in this country and not just the presidential election, but state and local elections as well. The Koch brothers are in it to win it. They just announced they're willing to spend $400 million to, to manipulate and, and basically change the way we vote, change the way we think. And, they're, and if they can't do it through commercials, they literally take over the state houses and change the laws. Or they just flat out steal it. And this has been going on now for 16 years. I watched it go through the 2000 presidency. Democrats were all pissed off then. Democrats wanted to investigate then. Democrat progressives couldn't have Greg Palestan enough. Now, like, there's only one or two news sources that are even having pa Greg Palestan. This is shocking to me because it's not reality. What happens when Tulsi, your favorite, you progressives love that 
Hindu fucking Hare Krishna fucking idiot Tulsi Gabbard with her homo with her anti homosexual dad anti gay legislation dad and her weird fucking devotion to the to Krishna gurus and gagas or whatever the fuck they're called you can listen to audio of her talking about her religion she sounds bat shit insane and if you heard a christian talking like that you would wonder how they could call themselves a progressive or a democrat but having said that she's she's but and she's not real bright either that's another thing about tulsi gabbard let's i mean i'm i'm sorry to derail, i'm gonna whatever she's not the brightest knife in the she's not the sharpest knife in the drawer so but what if she gets all these progressives like jimmy Dore and the young everybody loves her now and they love bernie sand they love this key and they want to go that direction get away from the corporate democrats and put what happens in four years when the when the republicans steal the election and they've done even more because they've been in power the last four years what happens then you're living in a fantasy world and this is what bothers me i are you all 19 years old are you all children did you not pay attention to the 2000 elections do you not pay attention to election theft it doesn't bother you how do you have a fair democracy? How do you have fair play if elections are being stolen? It doesn't matter who they're stolen from. If Democrats were stealing from Republicans, you should point it out. But the Republicans are the ones doing it, and they're the ones doing it on large, large, large conspiratorial scale. They're communicating with one another. They're having, I mean, how many interns and aides are used to go through all those cross-check num- names and match them up? This is a coordinated effort. And they know that everybody in America hates Hillary Clinton so much, just even though she won by 3 million votes. Everyone hates her so much that, and their own people, the, 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 the Democrats, the Chank Youngers of the world, the Jimmy Doors of the world, these so called want to get, want to make the country a better place, want to do, are letting Republicans steal elections. They're thrilled that Donnie Tan hands. It's real funny that Donnie, that Donald Trump is our president. It's fucking hilarious. Now we have a $15 billion wall that's going to be built. Now we have banned immigrants in for four months from refugee-torn countries that we're bombing. He is going to, he is, he and his half-developed fetus of a vice president, Mike Pence, are going after a woman's reproductive rights. They're, they're using the global gag rule again. They're, the, meaning nobody gets funding if they mention the word abortion anywhere in the world. This would not be, ha- and this is week one. This would not be happening. We would not have a psychopathic president. Hillary Clinton is not a psychopath. She's not. You can hate her all you want. You can. And what I'm so amazed is, I think a lot of people hate her because she's a woman. I didn't believe all that shit, but I think a lot of people were just. They don't like aggressive uh, women. They don't like angry women because angry women remind them of their mothers when they're angry, and they didn't like that when they were little kids. It's an f- emotional reaction with men. I prefer a strong woman. Weak women bore the shit out of me. You can keep your fucking weak subsidiary. Fuck them. I don't, I don't need them. I hate Republicans. I hate, I like strong, thoughtful. Uh, Hillary Clinton was a lawyer and she was a quite successful one at that. I, I'm not advocating for Hillary Clinton because it's over. But the theft happened. And Jill Stein was stopped in her recount efforts in Michigan. She was stopped in Pennsylvania. And she was stopped in, in other states. And she had the money. She had the backing. And she was stopped. And Democrats didn't rally behind her. Because everybody was so tired of Clinton. They didn't think, what happens in four years if we don't clean this up? What happens when we get a progressive candidate through? They run a national campaign, or they run, or they start to run, and they get beat by Trump. And people go, wait a minute, how did that happen? You didn't address it 16 years ago. You didn't address it. There is, the information's out there. They're handing it to you. Do something about it. Talk about it. Nope. I even watch Common Dreams. There's no information at all about election theft. And Greg Pallas just put best democracy money could buy out. It's about the presidential election in 2016. I, I'm just, and progressives have allowed this to happen. Good for you, progressives. Good for you that you're so, so angry at Hillary Clinton that you couldn't possibly see that it's going to affect your candidate in four years. It's going to inevitably affect your candidate probably locally right now. But you, but... So glad to get rid of the Clintons, right? So glad. Now let's not hold, but let's not hold any Republicans responsible, and let's let Donald Trump come in and literally take this country into a nightmarish hellscape. 
It's just, I'm stunned. I'm really stunned at that. Thank you for listening.